Hello, my name is Father Joe Ruiz Sanchez. I'm the assistant chaplain at the Catholic Information Center here in Washington, D.C. Labor Day is uh, an opportunity to celebrate the dignity of work, to recognize its value and its contribution to society. But it is also an opportunity to see its supernatural or spiritual value. Reflecting on, on that aspect of work, I recall some words of St. Jose Maria on a homily that he prepared very carefully, addressing the Friends of the University of Navarre in 1967, where he used this sentence, there is something divine hidden in the most ordinary circumstances of your life, and it is your task to discover it. And I have always, that idea has always resonated with me. You know, there is something divine here in, in these normal activities that make up our life, but sometimes we forget. So hopefully I can give you a couple of pointers or hints on how, what can we discover in the middle of work. And one of them is that God created human beings to work. That is, when Adam and Eve were placed in the Garden of Eden, the book of Genesis that says that they were placed there to toil it, to work, to, to not just to enjoy it, but to, to develop it. The Catechism, following an idea of the Second Vatican Council, says that God left the world unfinished and he leaves it in our hands so we can complete. So that in any work that we do, in some way it is completing the work of creation, trying to make the world a little bit more human. Now, in a more practical way, we can see work as a service. Work is always a service to someone. Uh, and that is something that Jesus embraced with his own life. Um, when, when Jesus went back to his hometown in Nazareth, already famous because of his preaching and his miracles, people were surprised because they remembered him as the worker. You know, for, for most of his adult life, Jesus was not known for doing miracles, but for being one of the members of the town who work, who contribute to the town with his service as a carpenter or as a, fresh, or, or, or as a you know, craftsman. So it is significant that our God, when he came to this world, he wanted to share our own experience, like to tell us these things that make up your life, especially work, is so important to God that I want to embrace it. Now work can be tiring or it can be exciting and, uh, and those two aspects are part of it, but beyond being you know, whether we enjoy it or sometimes we are tired, uh, we can embrace it with this other attitude. I am contributing to the work of creation. God wants me to do this, and because of that, I have to do it as best as I can. One of the things of the incarnation of Jesus Christ and embracing our human condition is that he elevates it, not only reminds us of the original plan of God, but he now makes it part of his work of redemption. When Jesus offers to his Father his self-giving, his sacrifice, he's also offering all the work that he did because he filled it with love. So one of the challenges for us in Labor Day is to, is to say, how can I remember in the hours of work in the, that this can be done with the same spirit with which Jesus did his work as something that he was offering to the Father. It was a service to his community and, as, and at the same time something that could be filled up with love. So maybe looking at St. Joseph uh, and at the Blessed Mother, you know, Mary and Joseph had to teach Jesus the basics of how to clean up after himself, how to um, sharpen the tools, all these things that take some learning. So most probably they were very good at that. And little by little, Mary and Joseph learned from Jesus that higher meaning, that this work was not only pleasing to God, but could be now offered to God. So as we enter into Labor Day, this celebration, we can ask the Blessed Mother and St. Joseph to teach us to do our work as well as we can, to see it as a service 
but more than anything, to see it as something that we can place on the altar every time we go to Mass, spiritually place it there and say, this is what I want to offer to God. The best I can do with my work and also with my rest, the times of rest that consists not so much in doing nothing, but in changing activities so I can then go back later on to my normal activities with new strength. So I leave you with these reflections. Hopefully eh, they can help you in this day of Labor Day to recover or to emphasize this deeper meaning that many times we lose about our everyday activities. God bless you.